could you please put your peanut shells in the garbage can? Sorry, Tanya. <laughs> Come on, Blair, help out. We all have to do our part. Hey, what about George? He's just sitting around. No, I'm cleaning the sofa. <laughs> Hey, what do you think this is? <laughs> Looks like it was a broom once. <laughs> yeah, but now it's just an odd bit of stuff. Oh, cool. I'll add it to my collection. Your collection of what? Odd bits of stuff. <laughs> okay, Morgan. What do you want me to do? All right, you can start out with the broom. Okay. Oh. Uh. Hey! Found some licorice! <laughs> oh. This isn't fair. How come Roger's not helping us? Well, he, he should be here soon, but be nice to him. Brother Grave has turned him down for a date tonight. He's been feeling really down. Oh, hello, everybody! <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Oh. Oh, two points. <laughs> hey, Roger. Why are you so happy? Did you find an extra prize in your cereal box? <laughs> Good one, Blair. Good one. <laughs> hey, Roger. Uh, Waldo called. He wants his shirt back. <laughs> oh, I get it because of the stripes. Oh, man, you were on today. <laughs> I'm going to go clean the booth. <laughs> Waldo. <laughs> Hey, uh, Rog, you want some licorice? Oh, thanks, George. No, don't. George got that from the sofa. <laughs> don't, George. You're so kooky. <laughs> uh, Morgan, uh, you're stupid. You shove it, Blair. Phew. I was beginning to think I lost my touch. <laughs> Why is Roger so happy anyway? I don't know. Maybe he got another A or something. Or maybe he just got a pet owl. What? Why would that make him happy? Hey, that will make me happy. I think I know why Roger's in such a good mood. Why is that? <laughs> he must be in love. <laughs> Big deal, he falls in love with a different girl every week. Yes, but this time he's in love with someone who loves him back. <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible. It's not. Don't you believe that everyone has a perfect soulmate? Yeah. Man, I wish one day I'll meet my perfect soulmate. I wonder who it could be. Smurfette. <laughs> not you. I wonder who's in love with Roger. Let's just ask him. No, 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 no. We shouldn't pry. Love is very personal. When Roger's ready to talk about it, he'll tell us. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. Hey, Roger. So who are you in love with? Where? Hey, how'd you know? I mean, uh, I don't know who you're talking about, okay? Come on, buddy, you can tell us, come on. No, uh, look, she's just, I mean, okay, I don't know what's going, okay, uh... Um, Roger, really... who is it? Gertrude Belmont? <sighs> Ethel Hunter? Look, uh, look, I'm gonna go, I'll see you guys later. Edna DePracci? <laughs> oh, ready to go. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Spying on Roger. What? How can you guys do such a thing? It's easy. I planted a microphone in his backpack and this modified receiver. Let's no, I mean, how can you do such a horrible thing? Like I said, I planted a microphone in his backpack. Guys, this and... is so well. We can't go around spying on Roger's private life. Relax, Tanya, all right? All we've heard so far is Roger writing cheesy love poems to his new girlfriend. Your eyes so bright, like two swimming pools with just the right amount of chlorine. You must have been made in heaven or by some babe-making machine. Oh. Okay, I don't want any part of this. I'm out of here. Shh, wait, 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 what's this? Dishes, glasses, and cutlery. I wonder where he is. He's at the circus, Blair. He's in the calf, obviously. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tanya, I thought you were leaving, huh? Oh, yeah, but it's raining out there. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, hi, hi. I missed you so much. Oh, you must be with her now. Oh, my little bunny one. <laughs> oh, boy. What? 
Roger's going out with a bunny rabbit. I hope he's still a sweetie really pie. Hey, that, that voice, it sounds so familiar. Give me a kiss, lover boy. Oh, no. No, 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 it can't be. What is it? It's... It's her. Roger, how could you? Don't you know Luann is evil? And cruel and mean. And a rabbit. <sighs> Guys, please. She's not like that at all, okay? You don't know her like I do. Roger, do you not remember that Luann tried to take over Radioactive? She even tried to get me kicked out. You gotta break up with her. What? She's up to something. Yeah, something bad. No, she's a nice person now. My love for Luann has changed her. Well, I don't like her. Neither do I. Yeah, neither does Fidel. Every time I see her name, Luann, she trembles. <laughs> Guys, please, you just have to give her a second chance. Are you crazy? Luann's a witch. A witch? How could you say that, Blair? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Roger told me you were cleaning up the ante room, so I thought I'd help out. Well, you're not welcome here. Tanya! Oh, no, it's okay, Roger. I understand. Do you? Yes, I do. After all the bad things I did, I understand that you guys don't want me around. I was really rotten. Up until I met Roger, that is. I'll just sit outside and wait for my sweetie weedy to finish his show. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you, you can stay. I can? She can? Yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 sweetie, do you mind if I talk to you for a second? No, sure. Are you crazy? No, Tanya, I'm not. Don't you remember what Al Pacino said in The Godfather Part Two? He said, keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. That's a terrible imitation. Besides, we can't split them up. Roger seems so happy. I mean, look at him. Yeah, they do look cute together. <laughs> Sickeningly cute. It's almost time for my show. That means we have to spend a half hour apart. Do no! I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, my bunny wunny, snuggy wuggy, cutesy, cutesy, honey, lovey, lovey, pretty. Just wuggy. go already! Okay, I'll go. Hey, Tanya, you want to come in? Oh, isn't he wonderful? Yeah, yeah he's sure. great. <laughs> he's so smart and charming, and sweet, and handsome. Are we talking about the same Roger here? I know you guys try to be like him. What? I know you try and imitate him. Look, you're wearing shoes, just like he does. <laughs> well, I can't blame you. He's so perfect. And you girls don't think I haven't noticed. Noticed what? The way you look at him. I know you wish that hunk of man was yours. But he's mine, capiche? So hands off, sisters! Okay, we like... I Roger. knew it! But you, you like him! We'll keep your dirty paws off him! She's gone from evil to wacko. He's mine. Mine. Mine! Okay, so you understand what you're supposed to do? I have to flirt with Luann. Will you stop saying that name? Why do I have to flirt with her? Because it's obvious she's only using Roger to get into radioactive. But if she actually thinks she can go out with you, she'll dump Roger like a hot potato, and he'll be able to see how truly evil she is. Tanya, this is so unlike you. Well, I don't know, just coming up with such a sneaky and devious plan. Oh. <laughs> I guess it is pretty rotten. No, no, I like it. Okay. I don't think I can do it. Of course you can, Blair. Just turn on that old Blair charm. 
for that smile, and that twinkle in your eyes. There's no girl alive that could ever resist you. You're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so will you go with me Friday night? No. <laughs> so will you do it? I don't know. Luann's not my type, you know? She's not anybody's type. George, you are not helping. Come on, Blair, do it for your buddy Roger. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so go on out there and work your magic, Romeo. Oh, no! Luann's coming! Oh, don't say that name, Blair! What do we do? What do we do? Quick, hi! No! This way! Oh. Stay here! Roger, Smodger. Who needs Roger? Come, sit. <clears throat> so, how are things? Oh, I'm a bit stuffed up, actually. But I think it's my allergies. I have lots of allergies. I'm allergic to cats and dogs and dust. And goldfish, too. And I keep trying to blow my nose, but nothing comes out, you know? <laughs> it's like all the mucus is stuck up there. It's thick and sticky. I think it's probably the yellow kind. <laughs> okay, please stop talking about that. <laughs> Let's talk about love. Love? Yes. <laughs> love. <laughs> You see, there's this kind of emptiness in my life. A kind of emptiness that only a certain girl can un-empty. Well, you don't seem to have any trouble with girls. I always see you with those gorgeous cheerleaders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but those girls don't mean anything to me. No, I want a girl with a mind. Someone I can discuss world events with. Someone I can talk to about... About what? Uh, you know those things with pages? Books? Yeah, those things. So what do you say, hmm? Well, I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh. Uh, wait! Kiss me! Let's... I'm looking for it. Did you say something? Never mind. Well, I'm gonna go look for Roger. Uh, wait, Luann! 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 Claire, what are you doing? Luann! Oh, Luann! Someone is No, there. Luann! Hey! We're cleaning! Yeah, we're just cleaning the cabinet. Yeah. You guys are weird. How you doing, Fidel? <laughs> hey, girls. Hey, what you doing, Fidel? Well, all this talk about Lou... <laughs> no who had him really stressed out. So I figured I'd take him out for a little walk. George, I didn't know you let him walk around. I don't. I built this dolly for him, and I pull him on this little string. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Yeah. I even think about adding a motor to the dolly. That way he can go out around for a walk whenever he feels like it. Yeah, he does seem a lot more relaxed. Yeah, he's a happy little hamster, huh? No! <laughs> hey, guys. Where's Luann? Stop saying that! <laughs> Sorry. Blair, why do you want to know where... <laughs> she is? Well, it's been a couple of days and she hasn't done anything rotten yet. I'm beginning to think maybe Roger was right. I guess he was. Uh, uh No, 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 no. I know that girl is up to something. Again. Oh, you have to be more trusting of people, Tanya. What's this? Roger's demands. What? One, make Roger's show longer. Two, give Roger more shows? Have Roger's favorite foods on hand in the anteroom at all times? Make way for Roger as he enters the booth? Install a jacuzzi in the anteroom. Hey, that's pretty cool. 
keep reading. For Roger's private use? <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I bet I know who's behind all this. Do? Make sure the microphone is disinfected and free of germs before being used by Roger. Who does he think he is? Hey, gang. Beautiful day, isn't it? Don't play innocent with us, mister. It's not beautiful. Roger, what's with these demands? What demands? What's this? You mean, you didn't write these? No. Ah, I see you got my note. I knew it. You call that a note? It's six feet long. Maybe if you were a, a giant, or if you had a really big pen or something. Can it, Resnicki? I trust all of these demands will be met. You mean you wrote this, Bunny Wennykins? I did. I did it for my sweetie weedy. Oh. Well, we are not giving Roger any of this. You see, Roger? They don't appreciate you. They don't? Obviously not. We appreciate Roger, but everyone at Radioactive is an equal. Equal? Ha! Roger does the best shows at Radioactive, so why shouldn't he be rewarded for it? You think I do the best shows? Oh, you know you do, handsome. Well, I guess they are kind of good. It's true, his shows are pretty good. And Roger does the most work at the station. <laughs> what? It's true, he does do a lot of work at the station. George, stay out of this. Okay. So, are these demands going to be met or not? No, no way. way. <laughs> Very well. I thought it might come to this. As for your little radio station, Roger, quit. Yeah, I quit. Uh, I quit? Yes, you do. Come on. Um, maybe we should talk about this, honey. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. <laughs> I knew she was up to something. Question is, what? My own radio station? Yeah. Wouldn't it be great? You could build it yourself. You know how to do all that stuff. Yeah, but I don't know if the gang would like that. Who cares about them? You know they don't appreciate your brilliance, honey wommy. Yeah, maybe not, but I still don't think that they would like it too much. Oh, mm, um. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> There. This baby is ready to go. You're so brilliant. <laughs> so, what are we waiting for? Let's get on the air. Ooh, we can't go on now. Tanya's radio show is about to start. So? So we're broadcasting on the same frequency. If we go on now, we'll be interrupting her show. Perfect. <laughs> Hello, um, students. You are now listening to... Roger Radio. And so it seems that the frog's legs that were served in the cafeteria on Monday were actually supposed to be delivered to the science lab. The school would like to apologize to the biology class that had to dissect macaroni and cheese. And another news... Hey, what's going on? Guys, I'm doing my show. No, you're not. Come listen to this. That's right, students. Roger Radio is on the air, where you'll hear nothing but Roger Richards all the time. So that's what she's up to, that no good... Yeah, how's she doing it? She must be broadcasting on a parallel frequency, and it's overriding our weaker signal. Well, can you fix it? Uh, maybe with the right tools, I can change our carrier signal. What do you need? All right, I'll need a screwdriver, pliers, a voltmeter, and a potato peeler. A potato peeler. <laughs> yeah, I'm really in the mood for some french fries. <laughs> And all you'll ever hear on this station is Roger Richards. Okay, now the news. Now there's an alternative to that stupid radioactive with their boring shows. Okay, let's move on to the weather. <laughs> you heard me, radioactive. With Tanya, who's always like, Oh, hi, I'm Tanya. I'm so cute. I'm so sweet and innocent. And Morgan, who thinks she's the boss of everything. She thinks she's so important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do think you're so important. And Blair, who has the IQ of a doorknob. <laughs> and George, who goes around pulling a rat in a cage. It's a hamster! When? And what about his hair? It's pointy! I mean, who in their right mind would hang out with someone who has pointy you hair? Duan, stop it! <sighs> Those are my friends. You can't talk about them that way. I don't know if they appreciate me or not, but I don't care. I like them. I think they like me too. So as of now... Roger Radio is officially off the air. Now what you go and do that for? Now I don't have a radio station. 
you don't have a radio station? So that's it? This whole time? That's the only reason you've been going out with me? Well, maybe at first. But now I see that you're a really sweet guy. And you're a great kisser. Will you forgive me? No, sorry, I can't. I guess I screwed up again. Hey, the mucus loosened up. <laughs> Hey guys, so where's Luann? I broke up with her. You know, it's weird. It's the first time I ever dumped somebody, but it doesn't feel any better than being dumped. So will you guys let me back into radioactive? Of course we will. Raj, we heard what you said, and we really do appreciate you. Thanks. <laughs> well, it's all fixed up. It won't happen again. Stop! Fidel? No. Oh, man. I installed a motor on his dolly, and I went off for a ride, and I can't find him anywhere. Last I saw him, he was headed off to the calf. <laughs> hey, guys, don't eat the burgers in the calf. They taste really weird. <laughs> Hello, my wonderful friends. <laughs> I think Roger's in love again. Oh, I am. And I suppose you're not going to tell us who she is? No. Roger, come on, tell us. Not after what happened first time, Blair. Roger, you can tell us. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Susie Wendell. That's great, Roger. <laughs> I'm really happy for you, man. Thanks, Blair. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. Susie Wendell. Hey, Roger, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> Get down! Get down! You came back! <laughs> <laughs>